playing this to demo of the next big thing, although I'm not really sure what it is. I'm a started player, but I had some sound problems, so I needed to restart it, but I didn't see anything. So we're just gonna delete this guy and make another one. Name the same thing. Manly Man Davidival. Yeah. That's his name. Okay. Just watch. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> before we begin, you should know that the story you're about to hear has quite a number of... Um... Um... Well... Don't say I didn't warn you. Wait a minute. The story doesn't start that way. Ah, yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen. Ayo, let's begin at the beginning. You. Good for you. I'm not deaf. Right, just dumb. You jerk. Lunatic. Dan Murray, the boss has assigned this story to the two of us. If you don't come into the theater with me and do your part... So, you don't think you can do it alone? I think I'm more than capable. You don't say. Dan Murray, I'm going to go into that theater and write a Pulitzer Prize story by myself. You hear me? You're gonna leave me out here in the cold in the dead of autumn? I hope you freeze. Hmm, how can I keep myself warm? Hey, yo, Dan. It was fabulous. I did so many interviews that we're gonna have to ask the boss for more space. Fitz Randolph, Professor Fly, Chrome Ha, Eva Morte, the poet, the Grim Reaper, and uh, the short guy from Monster Without a Cause. Fascinating. Yeah, you know, the one from... Uh, hey, what's that? It's antifreeze. Dan Murray, have you been out here drinking while I was in there doing your <sighs> job? That's it. The byline is gonna be mine and mine alone. They can fire you for all I care. Mm -hmm. What's more, if they ask me for a shovel to help dig your grave, I'll be more than happy to help. And if... Hey, what's he up to? Hmm. Big Albert. In Fitzrandall's office. That's odd. <gasps> you were saying? We have to go in there. My thoughts exactly. Finally, real investigative journalism. Come on, move it. Sweetheart. My thing is sports writing. If he hits you with a baseball bat, call me. And that's how it all started for Liz Allaire. 
she decided she was going into that office with or without Dan's help. Once got my head caught under the hood of my father's car, Anne-Marie, my smart sister, was being Tarzan. Queenie, my pretty sister, was Jane. I was Cheetah, and the car was the crocodile. Well, it seems to be kind of cartoony, like Borderlands, but it seems to be a point-and-click adventure or something like that. Jerk. Jerk. Okay. Once got my head caught under the hood of my Anne Marie. I hmm. What? I wonder what Dan's got in there. Oh. Jerk. When the hood is down, you can't see the teeth. That's helpful. When the hood is down, once got my head. I wonder. I. I wonder what Dan's. Hmm. When the hood is. When the hood is down. Oh. I don't like to play with crocodiles. Let's see. I wonder what Dan's What's in the trunk, Dan? For you, the unknown. Not so, because I don't want to open it. Better for you, because I wasn't going to let you. Then everyone's happy. Extremely. Good. Good. <laughs> Ayo, Dan. So how are you doing? Better than you, my dear. I wonder what Big Albert is doing in Fitz Randolph's office. No, don't tell me. You mean you still haven't found out? Liz Allaire, the famous investigative journalist. What pitiful results. You're a real people person, aren't you? But the quota is filled, my dear. Try again next season. Jerk. Lunatic. Do you want to hear the story of Big Albert? I know it. I don't need you to... Big Albert previously known as The Creature, reanimated by electroshock, and assembled using body parts from the cadaver of an unlucky bodybuilder and the brain of the greatest scientist of our time. He created his own line of clothing and accessories four years ago. Nobel Prize in Medicine three years ago, Nobel Prize in Philosophy two years ago, Nobel Peace Prize last month. I'm finished. Lately there's been a lot of monsters doing strange things. Am I right? Frankie Dogface Bowser disappeared for three days and came back with his face surgically altered. Now he's ten years uglier. Seventy in dog years. This thing with Big Albert could be a scoop! The most intelligent man in the world caught red-handed. The Quill's Rubber Room Reporter tells all in an exclusive. What were we talking about? Ah, yes. When the boss finds out who did all the interviews, you're going to be in hot water. He won't find out. Liz Allaire's no stool pigeon. Or is she? Sometimes I blurt out things without meaning to. You wouldn't dare. Try me. So, what exactly did you do wrong? I met you. You must have done something wrong for the boss to take you off your beloved sports section and put you on the society beat. Um, did 
Did you have a thing going with the boss's wife? That witch? I'd sooner have a thing with you... with anybody. You wrote something that didn't follow the paper's editorial line. Always. I write what I feel like, however and whenever I want. The boss is sick of your chronic lack of discipline. He's been sick of me for years. It's gotten to be his default state. Actually, I could care less what you did. Fascinating. Careful with the antifreeze. It makes your complexion look all pasty. A jab to the left. It's pumpkin punch. A jab to the right. Have you been drinking antifreeze? No way. I just rubbed a little on my face. It was cold. I hope you freeze. Hmm. I don't like to play with crocodiles. I wasn't very helpful at all. Dan won't let me open it, the jerk. Dan won't oh. let me open I wonder what... Hmm. Ayo, Dan. Better than you. 